welcome to the garden. This is the area that I've planted ground covers to replace wood chips. And we've, I think, been entirely successful. We have things like clover and these little uh, white flowers. I'm not sure what those are. But all of this is really nice and low growing. And the only maintenance I have to do is walk on it. And you can see it stays really nice and low. I haven't even had to trim this back at all. So I think I'm going to try to do this for the entire garden. It'll just look amazing. We've also got these little wild strawberries as a ground cover. And we're still getting fruit. Just these beautiful, sweet little wild fruit. So another one of my favorite plants in the garden. Mm. The chives are producing seeds. We can see the little black seeds in their little pods. And we're still actually getting a few new flowers. Like this one is brand new. Really lovely. Behind the chives we have parsley and dill. But they're struggling a little bit. We've got better dill up here. That's really looking amazing. It's starting to flower. All these beautiful little yellow flowers. I really love dill. Tastes great, looks great. The wildlife love it. I love it for cucumber sandwiches. So pretty soon we'll start making those. But aren't they just adorable little flowers? They're really nice. And all these will produce seeds. You get one seed per flower. So we actually end up with a whole bunch of seed. In amongst the dill, I have volunteer lettuce that I'm letting go to seed, and a tomato. It's kind of shaded out, so I should probably weed around it a bit, but just a little backup tomato. There's another tomato in with this one that's looking a little bit better. I also have another one there, planted with basil. Then we have cucumber. We've got peppers over here in these three containers. Some of them are looking really good, like this one. We've got some flowers, so we should hopefully see some bell peppers here. Our jalapenos unfortunately got eaten by deer, a couple of them. These two in the middle look really nice, but the ones in front is eaten back down to the last few leaves, so really struggling there, but hopefully they'll rebound. These little white flowers are cilantro. So I'm going to let that bloom, and hopefully we'll get a whole bunch more cilantro seed. We also have some cilantro down here that I'll probably harvest pretty soon. We've got a beefsteak tomato with a few really nice looking fruit. Can't wait to see those. And we've actually got the first cherry tomatoes. Look at that. Then we have our store-bought beet. I really liked harvesting these little leaves. They're really tasty. My favorite part is the stem. Mm. It tastes exactly like the root, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. But the potatoes are a little bit weak this year, so we might not even get any potatoes there. But that'd be fine. I'm letting my lettuce go to seed here, so I've basically pulled all the other ones because we're going to get enough seed from just a couple plants to replenish our seed stock. Then we've got spinach that I'm letting go to seed. It's taking a while for it to dry, but we can see all these seeds. That's what's going to perpetuate our supply. I bought two packets of spinach seeds, and we'll probably get enough from one plant to replenish both of those packs. So then we'll have a whole bunch more, because I love spinach. I want to plant tons more. Then we've got a pumpkin here, and another one down there, so hopefully they'll help each other get pollinated. Rhubarb looks really good. We've got our cat grass, which is producing tons of seed. That's really nice. And then a whole bunch of beautiful asparagus. I've got a Roma tomato in this container, and these are all oregano flowers that are about to bloom. 
Then we've got marigolds along the edge. We've got chives on this side. And a few little sown seeds here with broccoli and peppers and things that are struggling. These peppers unfortunately also got eaten back, but they're starting to produce new leaves. So I'll probably find a spot to protect them. We've got a yellow tomato, and that's producing really nice fruit. Even I'm letting these onions go to seed. We've got mint and basil here with leeks on this side. We've got two more tomatoes. This is a volunteer dill. Just popped up on its own. Looks incredible. Another one back here. Then we've got sage that is still flowering. Look at those beautiful purplish blue flowers. This one flowered as well, producing seeds. So hopefully we'll perpetuate those. And then one more sage plant here that really filled in beautifully. Then just past that we've got more oregano and mint. A couple more mint here. We've got thyme on the front of this bed. And parsley, dill, basil, and cilantro. And we've got rosemary. We've got these beautiful black beans. And if we look down under the leaves, they have beautiful purple flowers. They even have striped patterns on the top. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful flowers on these black beans. So we get a whole bunch of fruit because we got a whole bunch of plants in here. Look at all those flowers. It's going to be great. Next pot over we have a tomato and a few beets. And in this one another tomato and a few radishes. So I've actually got a radish to produce a little bit of a bulb. So I'm going to harvest it. It's probably going to be a little tough. It's a pretty good looking radish. So I'm going to wash this up and have it for dinner. That's beautiful. Then on this edge, we've got basil and a little broccoli. We've got peas in this container here with a little bit of cilantro. And then I pulled all the peas in this one so that we could expose our celery. This needs to grow up quite a bit. It's pretty small right now, but hopefully that'll fill in. But until then, I've got another celery over here with another few cucumbers in the back and some peas that I should probably pull. I found another volunteer marigold. This one's actually right underneath this container. And I'm not sure how that one actually got there because I sewed them over here in this bed. They're all along the edge. So that one's actually strayed quite a bit. But I'm happy to have it. Any little nook and cranny like that, I really want to try and fill in this year. I sowed a bunch of parsley seeds down here. Those are filling in pretty decently. And right in here, I've actually got a few squash. And we've got a couple pots of lettuce. I'm just letting those go to seed. Speaking of the nooks and crannies, I've got a few tomatoes. I'm trying to plant tomatoes in between my pots. So they're looking okay. They're not huge yet, but I think they'll fill in and we might get a late harvest. I've got a few more nooks and cranny tomatoes down in there. More basil, that's our cucumber. And horseradish over here. And I think that about does it. So the garden looks amazing this year. We'll give this little radish a taste here. Mm -hmm. It's actually really nice and tender. So if you can find shade, you could probably get away with growing summer radishes. But tomorrow, I think, I'm going to harvest the first tomato. That's a beautiful looking cherry. I love cherry tomatoes. Nice and sweet. So I hope you all get out in the garden this summer and give it a grow. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.